Mother's accused of organizing an assault on her own daughter. News 8's Tina Detail brings us the details of the court papers, which some may find disturbing. A stunned New London neighborhood is still trying to make sense of a crime that led to a startling number of arrests. According to court papers, it happened here last month in the parking lot of O'Reilly's Auto Parts store. I just don't understand how a mother could do something like that. Ten juveniles and two adults facing charges in the brutal attack of a 13-year-old girl. One of the adults, the victim's mother, 32-year-old Adina Muriel. The girl's aunt, 29-year-old Kiosha Muriel, is also facing charges. Adina Muriel allegedly orchestrated the attack because she wanted to humiliate the female juvenile victim for being disrespectful. Police say she offered $50 to anyone who would beat the juvenile victims blank. According to court papers, it started with Kiosha Muriel pulling her niece out of the car. When she resisted, police say she pulled the victim's hair out. Police say other videos show the victim's boyfriend as he places his knee on the neck, making it difficult for her to breathe, while other juveniles attempt to rip the juvenile victim's eyelashes off. That's nasty. I don't know. This, they need to punish the people. They need to pay for it. Police say Kiyosha can be seen on camera laughing at the treatment of her niece. She and the girl's mother and the juveniles face a variety of charges. They deserve that. Mm -hmm. They deserve that because poor girl. One of the investigators says the girl who is now in the custody of DCF stated to me that this is her life every day and it is what it is. Terrible, terrible to your own child. We did go into the auto parts store and we are told that there is no surveillance cameras outside and that they couldn't talk to us. But one employee surmised that this may have happened on the side of the store instead of in the front because at the time it was open for business. In New London, Tina Detell, News 8. All right, I'm back at it. So, uh, yeah, I, I've been dealing with some, uh, some allergy issues sinus problems so that's why i didn't put anything out um but yeah there's th that that story i mean it, it's it's horrible just horrible uh decision making horrible parenting i mean parents they're not supposed to you know put their kids in harm's way you know as parents you know we're supposed to protect our children and the sister in that situation she should have had enough sense to tell the mother to stop uh, but she went right along with it and um this mother, I mean, she wanted to humiliate the daughter, and this was nothing more than, I think, a power trip to fuel the mother's ego. Uh, we've seen stuff, not like this, but we've seen stuff where you get some of these parents who jump online on social media and they record themselves disciplining uh, their children. And I, I never understood the the whole, I don't know if it's like a fascination or, or anything like that. It's, it's just strange to me that a parent would do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about the ego, you know, the parent. And the thing is, how can some of us as parents discipline our children when some of us like discipline ourselves, you know, this mother in that situation, she lacked self-control and discipline. And I don't know, maybe by some strange logic, she figured since she paid some other kids to beat up her daughter, that somehow that would, I guess, teach her a lesson or that would be okay for her to do. Who knows? I don't know, but it, it's, it, it's crazy. But now her child is caught up in the system, having to deal with the department of children's services. And then on top of that, she got other people's children caught up in that mess, a mess that she created. And those, those kids, those other kids, now their parents got to go down to court and, and, and figure out what the hell's going on and, and what took place. And I don't know, maybe some of those parents, I mean, maybe they should be looking at, you know, trying to find out what kind of legal action they could take against her. Because she got their kids involved and caught up in this this BS. And um, I hope that child, the victim in this situation, I hope that she doesn't continue to think that any of this was okay or that any of this was normal. Because she already stated that, this is her life every day and it is what it is. So it, it kind of makes you wonder like what was going on at home? You know, if they doing this out in public, just think that if this situation didn't go down the way it did, um, you know, 
what would be going on behind closed doors at home. So, you know, hopefully as this child gets older, you know, she doesn't blame herself for any of this. Cause I mean, it's not her fault. Um, she didn't choose her parents, you know, and I mean, you, you can discipline a child without having to resort to barbaric savagery like this. Cause I think that's what it is. You know, this, this, this stuff that we see going on with all kinds of child neglect. And to me, it would seem that, some of these parents, they view their children as nothing more than cash cows. They don't love those kids. Uh, those kids are just paychecks to them. So I hope everybody involved in this situation, especially the adults, are held accountable because the adults, they're supposed to know better. And um, maybe this child can finally find some kind of peace now that she's not under the guidance and direction of her mother because that woman, I mean, she scarred her daughter not only physically, but psychologically as well. And sometimes those psychological scars, they, they take a little bit longer to heal than the physical ones. You know, this, this child will always remember that moment. And for parents out there, I mean, we know kids can sometimes get out of hand, especially when they get into their teenage years. But um, this, this is not the way that you go about dishing out punishment or teaching them a lesson. So that's just my thoughts about this. You know, I, I wanted to kind of, know get that off my mind because uh it's it's just horrible and yeah just take care stay safe and, and make better decisions peace